it's the doll circle and I've got more new Bratz. Bratz is literally taking over my life. It seems like every time I turn around, it's like, oh, there's a new Bratz line. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have had the chance to see this one yet. This is from the Metallic Madness line. And there's a few dolls in the single doll pack line. And then there's a couple that come in a two pack line. So this is Jade. In this line, there's actually gonna be Jade, Raya and Chloe, and then in two pack form, it's gonna be Sasha and Yasmin, and then Chloe and Cameron. So, two Chloe's in this line, but they're dressed differently, so I feel like it's worth buying all of them because she does come with really cute outfits. So, this one ran $24.99. As of now, I've seen it at Toys R Us and Target, I believe, are the two places that might be carrying it. So, check your area. As you can see, it comes with an extra outfit. I can't wait to get her out and change her outfit for you guys. I love the packaging. And that's one thing about uh, Bratz dolls is like every handle is absolutely unique. And I like how they actually have like, a, you know, a pair of lips on the top. And it's just, I don't know, it's just every handle is different. And I feel like the handles go with the packaging. Like I was actually holding it around like a purse and stuff at the store. So I like that. And then I also, I don't know, I hate saying it like I want to keep the handles because I don't know what they're going to go for, but I just feel like it's really cute. So I like that extra detailing even on the packaging. And then let me show you guys the back has her in her party outfit. So mixing the jacket that it comes with, but adding it to the dress. And then here's gonna be the other dolls. I don't know if you guys can see it. I know it's super tiny, but like the two packs are here and then the single dolls are here. So, and then as always the traditional same style box with hat that has like all the little accessories that go with the doll. So like, you know, a hair bow, a skateboard, cause she likes skating. So, you know, they try to keep all the little um, icons on the sides matching the doll that it's gonna be packaged with. So really really cool. The only thing I thought was funny is that they put her hello my name is image here instead of the image for the metallic madness so I thought that was kind of funny but oh well. So let's get her out of the box and see what she looks like. All right so we got her in the package and she's so cute. I do like her hair like I don't know if the camera can do justice to it. It is black but there's a lot of deep blue highlights. It's blended in really well so it's not streaks but it's actually like giving it this like from far away it looks like it's all solid dark blue but it really isn't. So I really like how they did that. Like that's, re I really, 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 really like that. It almost reminds me kind of the hair for um, Study Abroad Sasha where she had some blue in it too. Kind of like that. And then going to her face, she's got this beautiful pink eyeshadow, beautiful pink lipstick. And if you guys notice, her eyebrows are a little thicker. They're designed similar to the Snow Kissed uh, Jane where she has the thicker eyebrows and stuff. So I thought that was kind of cool. I preferably like them with the thicker brows. So comment below, do you guys like the thicker brows or the thinner brows? Like the, um, what is it? Hello, my name is and selfie has. So a little interesting thing. I love they have little buns in the hair though. It's so cute. It's kind of like the city broad Chloe has the two little buns. I thought that was awesome. It's very Spice Girls and I like that a lot. And then going to her dress, she's got these cute like fake leather straps on it. I really like that. And like going down the front, she's got a blue, like I don't even know if you can see that, a blue bow tie. Like that's so cute. And I like how it's kind of giving it like a tomboy effect to it because that's how her character is. And that's why they put it or paired it with purple looking combat boots. Even though it's a dress, it's still adding, like it still has the same color hues to it, I guess you can call it. Really awesome. I love the overall look. I love the layering of the fabrics that matches the shoes. Like it's just really cute. It's really, really cute. And then for accessories that I already put in, she has lightning bolt gold earrings. I just like how her eyes are super green on this doll too. Really cute. <laughs> All right, let me change her outfit really quick and then we'll also talk about accessories. Okay, after the struggle of trying to get her jacket on, for some reason there was a clear thread inside of the jacket we couldn't get our hands through, so obviously with the magic of editing, you guys didn't see that, but it took probably a good 15 minutes. <laughs> I can't decide which outfit I like better. Honestly, I think I kind of like this one more. I feel like there's more going on. I like the colors. I understand this is like her party dress, but I kind of like this. So she's got this really bright green jacket, but has a lot of detailing. Like the edges have like what would be there if there was a zipper. And I like how it has like a little strap so you can actually tie it like this and then wrap it over with the Velcro. And I like the detailing of the buttons even on the inside of like, can I pull it back? Like she has like, it's kind of like a spaghetti strap top, but it's also kind of like a high-waisted princess cut. And it's got buttons in the middle and like the fabric actually is really soft. And then it has like the cool like bright pink leggings with like a black streak down the side. Like 
a lot going on. Very 80s though. I, like I have to give like I love the metallic leggings with the metallic jacket. Like it's such an 80s vibe. I don't know. I think I like this better. And like I added a couple accessories. She does have a silver, which I believe is a choker, because I thought it was a bracelet, and then it fell off, and I'm like, I think it's a choker. I love that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's awesome looking. And then it came with some bangles. I put a yellow one on her, but it also comes with, can you see this? Let me see here. A green and a blue one, and then a metallic armband in purple, and then a purple lip brush, as always. And then this is really cool. Came with a gold clutch bag, kind of like diamond, like geometric cut, that actually opens, and she can like, let me see, does it fit all her bracelets? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, it does, so I don't lose them later, because I will. So I like that option. I think this outfit has my vote. She looks like a superhero with the leggings. I think this is winning for me. Like, I love the leather straps of this party dress. That is a really cool touch. But I like this, though. She looks like an 80s superhero, ready to go party. <laughs> so or, comment below, what do you guys think is better? Chase, what do you like? Let's see, she looks more like she's gonna go into a, like, 80s, uh... Like, dance party club night or something, like, in New York. I don't know, I'm like... I was gonna say, the, better. um... Like, the 80s, like, fitness. Like, the fitness <gasps> videos. Yes! Oh my gosh! Olivia Newton-John needs to be playing right now. <laughs> I think, yeah, I can definitely get that vibe from it. And I like how the boots, even though they're a pastel and the rest of the outfit's metallic, it still goes with it. I feel like it still works overall. I like it. I don't know. You guys comment. What do you think's better? Outfit number one with the dress or outfit number two with the 80s workout outfit? I like the 80s workout outfit better. <laughs> I'm really excited to possibly, I'm going to try to get the rest of them. I'm trying to be more picky on how many I'm buying, but they're all so cute. I definitely want the Cameron and Chloe two pack just because she's a giant bow and I love giant accessories. <laughs> they look really cute. So as always, comment. I do appreciate it. I do read them. As always, to make sure to check out our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and our second channel, The Toy Circle. I know I say it all the time, but if you guys subscribe, then I won't be saying it. Actually, I'll still be saying it. Let's be real. <laughs> I love this doll. She's so cute. So comment below, you guys, and thanks for watching.